Yo, what's good people? It's Ocean here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the video. I'm on the way to the studio and today what I want to do is flip a Japanese sample into a jewel beat. I was doing like a series earlier this year where I was flipping samples from different countries. I think we done Middle Eastern slash Arabic kind of vibes. We did one from Bollywood so today I want to find a Japanese sample and then we're going to turn it into a hard jewel beat. Let's get into it. Today I'm going to be switching the door, I'm not going to be using Logic Pro X, I'm going to be using Serato Studio. Shout out to Serato for sponsoring this video. I've used Serato Studio a few times now before, so you might have seen it in some of my other videos. I personally love using it when it comes to sampling stuff because they got the sampler that I can just throw the sample in there, the text, everything, I can chop it up exactly how I want. Plus I can also record audio in there now, so if I want to use one of my synths or a guitar or just any live instrument, then I can do that now. So yeah, let me open it up and get started. But actually first, I'm going to try and find a good sample to flip on YouTube. All right, let's go find a sample on YouTube. Japanese sample. That's nice. This would be sick as more like a boom bap kind of vibe that's the that's the feeling i get from it like but maybe not for drill this one sounded nice I might take that one. Let me see what this translates to in English. Oh, it's the name. Nakamura Yashiro Sakura Sakura. I think I'm gonna download this one, I'm feeling it. Let me just see what else there is, just in case. That's sounding solid as well. Honestly, I could flip like all three of these, but I'm gonna take that last one because I definitely hear some drill drums on top of that already. Let's raise this BPM to like 140. Maybe in a, a bit faster. I found like a, the sweet spot for drill beats for me is like 143 BPM. I might even just have that part, like maybe not even chop it up, just keep that that playing throughout because that sounds sick. Yeah, I like that. Let's add in some drums on top of this now. I'm gonna be using some of my drum sounds from my drum pack that I did exclusively with Serato. So there's a link in the description if you wanna go grab that. I love that little bit at the end. Hard. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Let me add in some more sounds for my drum kits. Really simple, just like that typical drill bounce right there. But it's sounding nice so far, I like that. Just gonna add that perk right at the end there. And let's just turn it down a little bit. Just gives it a bit more high end. Let's 
gonna add in some more sounds from my essentials kit. And again, let's just turn that down so it's not too loud in the mix. I think with the sample, like it just kind of slightly goes off BPM, so I'm gonna try and fix that quickly. So it just, it's so just the timing is a little bit better. that in now. So I think the timings on that should be a lot better. And now before I add in the 808, I just want to leave some space for it. So I'm just going to add in a bit of EQ to take out the lows in that sample. So if I just hit this effects button up here, it'll give me this effects channel and then let's just add in some EQ so let's add an 808 first of all let's just get rid of all the chops that they've given just have one chop at the beginning again unsync it so it unsyncs away from the key that you've set for the project and then you're going to click this keyboard function here and then I like to just take it out of playing key so I can just play it like all the notes in here everything rather than just having it play set to the to the project's key I think I'm gonna add just something else on top of this just to make it thicker. I just finished up the beat and I added in a little something from the synth just to just to boost up a little bit, just to give it some flavor in. This is what we got. and then that lead bit comes in. Yeah, this one's, yeah, this one. I like this beat, this one's called. But yeah, that's about it for this one. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button because as I always say in every single video, it really, really, really helps us out. Also, if you do want to check out Serato Studio, then I'm going to leave a link in the description below. You can also check out my exclusive sound pack with them, which has my drum sounds, as well as like a ton of different audio samples and loops that you can chop up. But yeah, that is about it for this video. I'll see you in the future. Thanks.